What's up guys, AJ here from Next Level Living and welcome to my morning drive. Navigate on autopilot. Man, this thing is amazing. I mean, this is the best time to own a Tesla. Like I'm sure everybody that owns a Tesla right now feels the same way. It's just so exciting right now. Like there's all these new things that's coming up. Hearing Elon Musk like in the news talking about like the roadmap for um, Tesla. It's just super exciting to own a Tesla right now. And I'm so glad I bought this car. Um, and like I said, navigate on autopilot is pretty much, you know, like it doesn't get that much better as far as like owning a car. Um, because now, you know, like we get these little updates that makes the car feel like it's brand new. Like, it, it's just these little features, um, you know, you wake up and now your your car can change lanes for you, exit for you, and uh, take me to work. You guys hear that little beep? That's the, the new beep for Navigate on Autopilot. Oh, it's a little rough here because it's construction. There you go. Anyways, yes, it's, it's super exciting right now to own a Tesla. I mean, Elon, I just woke up this morning and Elon said um, the Smart Summit is coming out. So it's able to like go around your driveway and maybe find a way to like, maybe it'll pull out of a parking lot, who knows, a parking spot, who knows. But it's just super exciting right now um, to, to own a Tesla. Just a quick overview on Navigate on Autopilot. If you guys don't already know, if you're a Tesla owner, you probably already know what it is and either you got it or you're waiting for it. But if you're not a Tesla owner and you're looking to get into one, then you probably have heard about it too. Um, it's basically um, a step above the freeway autopilot of just lane assist or lane keeping is what they call it. Now, Navigate on Autopilot um, will start um, recommending you to overtake, uh, to switch lanes because the, the other lane is faster, just in case the lane in front, the, the car in front of you is slow. Um, in previous um, versions, if the car in front of you is slow, you're just kind of stuck there until you initiate the lane change. Um, the car just matches the speed, and so if the car in front of you is going 50 miles per hour on a 70 mile per hour, um, speed limit road then your car is just gonna stay at around 48 or whatever so enhanced autopilot recognizes that uh, suggests that you should turn left or lane change left or lane change right and all you have to do is initiate the action and now even more cool is you don't have to do the full click you can do the lane change um, the, it's what they call they call it the cruise stock I guess is when you half click the turn signal and you know it only turns it halfway it, it doesn't click and it keeps it it keeps the signal open or blinking until the Tesla is successfully lane change so it doesn't you don't have that five second timer anymore so um, so that's great that's a massive upgrade because I always thought like why why do I have to like unclick it back up right and I heard that model 3 you don't have to but I have a model X but this is a 2018 model X got it a month ago so um, it should have that feature and now it does so I'm, I'm pretty stoked but anyways let me tell you guys like I've been testing around this navigate on autopilot and holy crap especially the first day like I said on Mad Max mode, it's basically telling me, oh, switch left, oh, switch right, oh, switch left. I mean, it's kind of exciting, right? It's, it's it, Your car is doing something new, so you're like, yes! You know, this is so cool. I'm like, Instagram story, tell my girlfriend about it. But the best part was when around the exit by my work, where um, if you guys if you guys have been using the autopilot basically if your lane is the exit 
then you don't have to worry about it, right? Like, because your lane will exit. So you're like, oh, cool, my, my car is taking the exit. But with Navigate on Autopilot, and this is so cool. You know how some lanes, some exits are like an off, what I call an off-lane exit? Where it's just a like a turn from a lane. This car turned on the signal by itself. That exit is not its own lane. It's a fork from my lane. So it turned um, outside of my lane into it. And in, in my uh, cluster at the front, it even shows that it's, it's just one lane. So it kind of went over the lane in a way. It's asking me to, turn, to switch lanes even though no, there's no car in front of me. So there's small bugs here and there. And it's hard because the car also doesn't know if the lane it's turning into is going to be slower. So I actually had an instance where it suggested me to lane change and I did. And then that car was, that lane is now slower. So it, it told me to change the lane back. And so I did. And that lane got slow so it told me to change one lane more. So it, it's pretty much driving like a human. So it's like, oh this lane sucks, oh this lane sucks. Oh, this lane sucks so I mean unless it's got our car starts getting live like super live traffic updates where there's like a like an overhead view of what's happening then it doesn't really know um, if it's gonna have traffic the one thing I can also say with this navigate on autopilot is the lane change is a lot smarter I mean I can't I can only I obviously can't tell what's happening because it's you know it's their code but it feels like it's doing a lot more calculation like it's it's trying to match the speed of the upcoming car on your chip on your turn like if this car over here is um, I look at my side mirror when I'm laning change um, doing a lane change if it's fast it, it would think about it it would like actually do a small turn and then go back in so it's it's a lot smarter. I mean, it's crazy right now. And anyways, like, I can go on and on about this. I, if you haven't tried Navigate on Autopilot, um, you definitely should try it. It's an exciting time to own a Tesla right now. If you don't own a Tesla, um, this is the reason why you should pick a Tesla that's built late, very late 2016 or any year 2017 um, to have the hardware too because the hardware one doesn't have this so you know like it's it's pretty amazing um, I'm coming up on my turn right now and it actually does something really awesome on my on my freeway exit so what it does is it actually exits the freeway and then on the on the clutch on the gauge in front of me it'll say autopilot ending in 500 feet and then so it keeps counting down as you move forward and when it does it seems to stop like and then there's a stoplight right there so it just it, it ends and stops on the stoplight so it's like I've taken you to your exit please take over I mean I feel so special oh my gosh it's just so exciting I I I mean, if you guys can tell, I'm super excited. Like, I, I told myself not, I, I won't be driving this car because I have a 30 mile commute to work. And since this car is brand new and it's pretty much a $170,000 car. And um, so I'm like putting too many miles. I put 2,000 miles in one month, guys. So like I, I told myself, I'll drive my car like two or three times a week. This week I've driven it almost every day ever since this Navigate on Autopilot came out. I'm actually gonna film this, this is my exit. Right there. See right there, zero feet. And it says Autopilot ended. My car is slowing down, there's a stoplight. 
And watch this guys, my car is gonna make a complete stop right there. Complete stop on a stoplight. How exciting is that? Huh? How exciting is that? Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and try autopilot. And if you're looking to buy a Tesla, make sure you subscribe and watch my other video and get, get you um, excited on buying your new Tesla and getting you familiar with the features you're going to be having when you buy a new Tesla. Um, oh my gosh, it's starting to rain and I just washed my car. Isn't that how it is always, right? Anyways, guys, like and subscribe again. Um, if I have a referral code as well. Make sure you guys use it. Especially if I helped you out a little bit. Um, and I'll see you guys on my next morning drive. Peace. P100D, let's try it. Man, people always get pissed in this, in my um, work street because I always floor this car. <laughs>